The debate over how safe those popular energy drinks are looks to be headed to court. This while the FDA investigates how much caffeine is too much caffeine. The FDA's decision to investigate monster energy drinks is based partly on the death of that 14 year old girl. She went into a coma after drinking two large cans of monster energy and died a few days later. The official cause of death was cardiac arrhythmia due to caffeine toxicity. She did have a heart condition, but that was not referenced in the death report. We wanted to take this one further tonight, and Dr. Najib Shalfoun is an electrophysiologist with Spectrum Health's Cardiovascular Services. You specialize in abnormal heart rhythms and problems with the heart. Thanks for coming in tonight, doctor. Thank you. Thank you for having me. How much caffeine is too much caffeine? Is it a number you can put on, you know, individuals is like, it's good for everybody? Or is, are there differences? There are differences. And actually, uh, it's a fairly poorly studied area. Um, uh, we really don't know how much caffeine is too much for any one particular person. Um, there are some patients that have predisposing arrhythmias or some tendencies to have predisposing arrhythmias and they have heart conditions to begin with that may be much more, um, that can have much higher consequences from drinking higher doses of caffeine than others. For example, we see patients all the time that come in with irregular heartbeats in our field. And some can drink several cups of coffee and not have a single effect, while others, even a single cup of coffee, may trigger their arrhythmias and cause them to have um, uh, uh, tachycardias, which are palpitations of fast heartbeats. Some of them, most of them are benign, some of them can be dangerous. Um, and the key is, what is your predisposing condition? What is your underlying uh, uh, substrate for having bad rhythms? Mm -hmm. And what is the true dose that actually can cause significant problems in a particular person? It really only mostly case reports of uh, uh, malignant arrhythmias, meaning problems that can cause potentially death in adults mostly, not so much in children. That's my next question. Is there a difference between adults and kids? This was a 14-year-old girl mm -hmm. that died. Does a child's body absorb or is able to process that caffeine as well as an adult? Well, it's more so the effect of an actual dose of, say, adrenaline stimulant. Um, any medication, potentially, uh, many of our drugs are actually based on weight in terms of their effect mm -hmm. onto uh, a particular adult or, ch or child. So you would expect that anybody who is going to be smaller in size may have a bigger effect in terms of uh, caffeine. Is it just others. caffeine? Because some of these energy drinks too have other vitamins. They're infused with like B12 and all sorts of different sure, stuff. Sure. Does that add to, to a, a, a possible problem? Um, not necessarily B12, but you have to watch for other type of um, stimulants that can be added in this. So caffeine is not the only one. Um, there are different herbs that can cause also similar effects into um, uh, that can increase your adrenaline response uh, uh, in your heart. See the way caffeine works, it um, uh, increases the adrenaline stimulation in your own system. So you can imagine, and um, uh, you probably have heard of patients or friends of families that have taken too many cups of coffees and get jittery. Right. Um, uh, they uh, feel their hearts pounding. Mm -hmm. They can't sleep very well. Well, that's because your heart is, your whole system is revved up. Um, and you can imagine that if you actually have a predisposition to having an irregular heartbeat, your whole system is revving up the, the, the heart. What is that amount? It's really patient dependent. And um, in most uh, moderate doses, uh, caffeine is not a bad thing, uh, a dangerous life rhythmic. Uh, 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 so I say uh, everything in moderation. Everything in moderation. That's just like our mother taught us in the beginning. And, yep. uh, but but the, the key is, though, um, also know your body and know your symptoms. So when I see a patient that has uh, uh, arrhythmias with one cup of coffee, I tell them to stop drinking coffee. All right. Doctor, thanks for your time. We've got to wrap it up there. We can talk about this all day. Be safe out there.